The sun hasn't risen yet, but already this household is stirring. The members of this family in Nakuru are so used to the morning ritual, they could carry out the activities in their sleep. As it is, the early hour means that they are half asleep. But a lot or not, the two school-going children must make it to school before the bell rings at 6.30. In Nairobi's Eastlands area, these two children who prefer to conceal their identities for fear of victimization at school enjoy a rare stress-free afternoon. The hours these two pupils spend at the dining table completing their school assignment provide a break from the mud dash to school and back. Five days a week they rise early to catch the school bus which arrives at quarter past five. Like the older ones will tell me they're supposed to be in class by six. The teacher's already there starting their first lesson. The two boys aged nine and eleven never make it home before six. Their parents are determined to see them get a good education. Yes, and a good education for them means a private primary school, which in this case demands extra hours with the students. This the school believes gives KCPE candidates a leg up. My five children, honestly, I don't even know what is their talent. It has been school, 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 and that's it. They're not alone. It is the norm all over the city as school buses arrive earlier and earlier to beat the traffic jam and it takes a toll on the students. Even after break is lessons. Everything is lessons. The new regulations stipulate that official school hours are Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 3.30 for school lessons and an extension until 4.45 for co-curriculum activities. Learners should report no earlier than 7.15 a.m. The regulations that were gazetted last month have elicited passionate responses from those with a stake. We shall be asking the Delegated Committee of Legislation to throw those regulations out of the window so that we go back to square one and draft regulations that work. Out of 880,000 pupils who sat the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education Examinations last year, almost 200,000 missed spots in Form 1. Parents maintaining that the pressure they exert on their children is simply in order to ensure their futures. Sasa sisi wananchi wa kawaida diyo tunaadhirika kusema ukweli. Juwenye wako boarding hatujui wali ya muka sagapi. Sasa sisi wananchi wa kawaida diyo tumewekewa kama tukona restriction ya watoto wetu wa siigia wakati furani. The fruit they believe will be worth everything sacrificed along the way. Wilkis Anyabwa Sunday Live.